Hey, what's up guys? It's Virakis here and today we're gonna be doing uh, Well, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a team now uh, I don't know exactly how to make a team. I'm not a giga brain five head mastermind PvP player But I don't know. I have to make teams a lot for the video. So this is just my thought process. So Yeah, so let's say I want to use Tyrex for a video Tyrex is metal earth type. It's weak to like fire water Plant, Brawler, and Earth, right? Well, what's something that quad resists both fire and plant, which is this thing's weaknesses? Boom, bam, Infernix. Quad resists fire and plant type attacks. Now, this is really weak to Earth. Now, we, there's a lot of options you can do for Earth. If you want Earth resist, you could use a plant type like Molomerc. You could, I don't know use a Zephelin to just be immune to Earth. But the issue with Zephelin is that Himber completely just destroys Zephelin. So, you could also go with a bug type like this for your Earth Resist. I think we might want to run Ventation. No, Ventation doesn't actually resist it, but it's just unbelievably fat for melee attacks, and both these are more range defensive. Yeah, clever. And, one thing, Ventation is weak to poison and electric, which Tyrex is resistant to poison and immune to electric. So that's, like this right here is like a pretty solid combo right now. So, what do we need? Ah, uh, something just fell, I don't know. I don't know if you could hear that. This team is really slow. We need something quick. Now, Hmm, I actually not planning this video at all. We need something quick that isn't necessarily weak to earth. Um now I have no idea. Uh these are all my PvP minions. Um This is quick, but only this is really only meant to deal with Metronet, and we have Infernix to deal with Metronet, which isn't the best thing to deal with Metronet, so, hmm, we could run Gobademic, but we also would probably want some sort of traps user, which is Dorogo. Hmm, I think, even though... Our team's really weak to metal or to earth. We can run Protagon because it's very quick, does a lot of damage, has pretty solid defenses too. Um, so yeah, let's run Protagon. We'll think of, we'll, we'll add something to the team that is better against earth. Now, hmm, I think Zephelin is pretty good here because we have the electric immunity here and then. Uh, ice types. Now, we need something to deal with Himber, specifically. Which, we do have you to counter lead against Himber, and we also have Protagon to counter lead against Himber. So, not too worried about Himber, but the only issue is, it swaps if it doesn't lead. So, oh wait, never mind, we have this thing to deal with Himber. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Now, What's next? We're pretty ranged heavy. I mean, this, has, this is kind of melee and ranged. But we're really ranged heavy here. We really only have Tyrex, which is its melee. So I think Vesp is pretty solid here. Yeah. Because one of the most common Lumians you'll see in PvP is Mutagon. And this thing swaps in on Mutagon 100 times out of 100 and gets to click whatever move it wants, unless they have it to clips and you have to play smart. Um, now, for our last Lumion, let's think, what are we weak to? So, we're not too worried about Earth-type moves. Ancient, we're not too worried about. Hmm... So, I might 
just we don't really have like for in terms of range tank I mean 116 oh this is level 45 but you know 128 yeah we don't really have a solid range tank so for range tanks we got these three are pretty good range tanks do I have any over here uh, not really that I can see. What are your... I forget what set this is. No, this is just slight melee bulk. Okay. <clears throat> so between these three, if we have this, which is... I feel like changing the set soon to get... Uh, instead of Taze, maybe Gamma Pulse. But these two are weak to... Uh, elect or to, to earth moves, which we do have to worry about earth moves pretty hard on this team because Zephyrin, yeah, it's immune to earth, but it's also pretty darn frail. And if it's like, like most earth attackers, like this thing, also get other moves like Mega Chomp and Raging Tackle. So, I'm thinking Terra Claw. Because it has an Earth Resist, even. The only issue is, we're kind of weak to Himber. Wait, never mind. I always forget. This thing absolutely destroys Himber because you just burn it with Geyser. So, yeah. Let's and then see. We have a team here. One of the best ways you can think of, like, what your team's weaknesses are. Because just, like, thinking of like that, you're going to forget stuff, right? So, uh, not items. Well, actually, we could do items. We need to see what items we're going to put on here. So, we can actually put power cuffs on our protagon because nothing else really uses those. Um, now, you could run Health Amulet on either Terra Claw or Tyrex. Um, but I think for this, Terra Claw is better to have that. And Mysterious Dust on Tyrex, just so... You know, you don't get burned by Zulong Elemental Burst. Mm. Then Ventation. We could slap a Bug Essence on that. It's kind of just backup. Uh, Fire Essence, definitely for Icy Hot. Air Essence, of course, on that. And Dark Essence for Vesperatu to make those slapdowns even harder. So those are the items. Uh, this is like meant for competitive if you wanted to you could just run a bunch of health amulets or whatever or power cuffs you, you know whatever if you're just do, gonna do casual battles but I like to I play casual battles most of the time but I like to keep competitive item sets so now you have your team here and you just go through the Lumipedia and you think Seer Knight what do you have for Seer Knight um, we have Protagon with Thunderstrike we have Tyrex with Earthquake we have Yeah, we have Ventation, who is pretty amazing against it. Yeah, we're not too worried about Seer Knight. Luminami. Now, we do have Vesperatu, but that can only, like, check it. It can't counter it and swap in. We do have Protagon, which can swap in a couple times. Um, Terra Claw is actually pretty good against Luminami. It's not, like, immune or it doesn't have like many resistances against Luminami, and if it's it could have Ice Beam on Luminami, so you have to be careful about that. So that is actually a bit of a threat here, but you don't see Luminamis or like range Luminamis too often. It's ma mainly melee Luminamis, which Vesperatu can deal with those pretty well. <clears throat> My voice is dying. Um, Tautab, Vesperatu, Valkyrie. You have Vesperatu again. Yeah, Vesperatu is just amazing. You have Vesperatu to deal with Valkyrie. Um, you have Mud Spatter, which can deal a lot of damage to Valkyrie. You have Thunderstrike there. You have Fire Breath, super effective against Valkyrie. I don't know. I can't remember. But, yeah. And, of course, Tyrex, just absolutely amazing there. Uh, why do I keep clicking on items? No. Okay, Lumipedia. Vesperatu. To deal with Vesperatu, you have Protagon with Energy Surge, you have Ventation, yeah, so Himber, you have Ventation, you have Infernix, you have Protagon, 
Zulong, you hard counter that thing with uh, Tyrex. Umbrat, um, against Umbrat, I guess, Protagon. You do quad resist dark moves with Vesperatu, so that's pretty solid. And you, of course, have Terra Claw and Ventation to block out pretty much any melee attacker. Um, Luxor, so it's a light type. You can threaten it out. Actually, Luxor is pretty darn good against this team. You could threaten Luxor out pretty hard if you have Vesperatu on the... Like, it can't swap in against Vesperatu. It can't swap in against Tyrex. But, of course, uh, with, like, Gamma Pulse or, or... I might use Raging Howl, actually, if it's Secret Ability. And Fire Breath. It does hurt these pretty badly. But... Um, actually, no. You can't use this against... I guess you'd have to use Terra Claw. But you don't see that too often, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. Why do I keep clicking on items? Okay. Next up. To Clips. Now, you were going to see this a lot, especially if you bring Vesperatu. They're always going to bring that if they see a Vesperatu. Um, so you do have Clever Tyrex, Protagon, and Terra Claw. Yeah, that thing's not going to be much of an issue for this team. Um, you never see this Lumion, and there's a good reason. It's pretty trash. And kind of just loses, like, honestly, if I saw this thing. Oh, and of course you have this thing to just... Oh wait, isn't it neutral because it's a flying bug? Doesn't matter, really. I think Protagon Thunderstrike is super effective. It can't deal much damage to Terra Claw, I don't think. Actually, it does get Airblade. But yeah, I don't. that's not much of a threat. Like, it doesn't deal enough damage to be a threat. Um, what's next? Avatross. You do hard wall that thing out with uh, Tyrex. You can't click Earthquake against Avatross, but you do can click Steel Crusher, which that's fine. And of course you have Protagon Thunderstrike, but you do have to be careful of Thunder Crash. And... You do have Shadow Sprint if it's got a bunch of rev ups up, and uh, you can't really use Ventation because of Thunder Crash. That is a bit of a threat, but Tyrex should be able to deal with it decently well. Next up is Swolder. You have Zephelin. Zephelin wins that hard. At Florent, Zephelin once again. Pretty good against that. Terrafly, once again, Zephelin. Um, yeah, and like, it doesn't have the greatest defenses, so you could, like, you could chunk that thing out hard with Protagon or Icy Hot. You could probably one-shot it with an Icy Hot attack. Um, Terra Claw. You have Zephelin. And, ooh... Thinking of it now, you, the melee attackers on this team kind of bad. It, if it's Baneful Bash, then this is kind of bad, but you could spam out Braces if you wanted to, and then get some Frost Beams off on it, or Geysers if you wanted to burn it. So we have Ventation to deal with that, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, you never see this thing. Best brought to Quad resists it. There's also Protagon, Energy Surge. You just have to be careful playing against this thing. It doesn't have the greatest defenses or the greatest speed. So you have to be careful not to get your abilities and items stolen. So, yeah. Against Borok, you do have Ventation, which is just an easy win. And Terra Claw does resist Earth moves, but it's... It's a very clever Slick Shell Terra Claw, so maybe not. And then you, of course, have Shadow Sprint if you really needed it. But, yeah. That is a bit of an issue, Borok. But I feel like you could be able to deal with it with the Ventation. El Iguana. 
you have Vesperatu as long as it's not melee and light dash, but who runs that? Um, and it can't even swap in. Um, you do have whatever it's called, Mud Spatter, but if it's range tanky, then you can't really deal with it. You could, of course, use Terra Claw against it. That's actually probably your best bet. Or just use Tyrex, which is unbelievably amazing against it. Now that I think about it. Um, this thing, who runs this? Just use Vesperatu to slap down easy mode. Chartiki, if it's... You can't swap in a Vesperatu against this thing, but it'll probably die to a Vesperatu. Attack, plus this thing, AC-130. Uh, also, which is a flying type. Wait, it's called air type in this game. <laughs> Air type, which is really good against the fire, so that's easy mode. This thing, your Vesperatu Shadow Sprint. Hmm, Sedimars. Um, you have to be careful of that, actually. I think Ventation is probably your best bet. If it's Thunder Chomp, then a bit of an L, but you'll be okay. Um, against Ventation, you have Protagon. You have Infernix and Zephalin, all things which can hard chunk out uh, Mentation if it decides to stay in against it, which they probably won't. Against Yursul, you do have Vesperatu, which is immune to Quick Punch and Quad Effective against Yursul. You can't swap in against it too many times, so uh this is also super effective against it and of course ventation walls out any melee attacker um revenine uh you do have vesperatu shadow sprint you do have zephalin and <clears throat> protagon kinda protagon's all right against it with energy surge and yeah Against this thing, Erupted On. I guess you have this. And you... Yeah, Terra Claw is pretty good against it with Slick Shell. Oh, and also you quad resist it with this thing, so... Haha. <laughs> your Pyro means nothing. Um... Krakaloa. Same deal with you Erupted On. Just uh, use Zephalin and Infernix. Vocaloa! This is actually pretty difficult for you to deal with. Um, so, because it's fire and ancient, you can't actually. Like, you could swap in on a fire move, but then you have to swap out on something. Like, what you could do if they're not going to predict it, if you don't think they'll predict it, is you could, like, they're going to use a fire move against, let's say, Vesperatu. You swap in Icy Hot, quad resist the fire move. Swap in Tyrex, quad resist the. Uh, Quad resist the ancient move and give it a minus one. And then with that minus one, you could swap in, say, a Ventation or. Yeah, that's about all you could do. <laughs> and Prey doesn't click Brawn Boost. Um, Obsidian, you have Protagon. And Tyrex, kinda. And of course, you could use uh, Ventation against it, you just have to be careful. Trumble, yeah, you have Ventation, you have Tyrex, oh, but it gets uh, Earthquake now, so you have to be careful. It's really, really weak to range attack, so, I mean, these two just absolutely destroy, actually, you two as well. Like, yeah, it's way too ranged frail. This thing, you have Tyrex, shouldn't be an issue, plus Slick Shell, Terra Cloth, yeah, you're probably fine. It's a ghoul. Um... You have Vesperatu. You should be fine against that thing. You don't see it very often unless it's a Bane of Haste team. Bane of Haste teams aren't even that great. Um, and honestly, like this thing kind of hits it pretty hard. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, Ferroglyph, you have Vesperatu. I don't, there's probably other things on the team that's good against it, but we gotta hurry up here. We're already at... 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes. Against Garbantis. Uh, you have Frost Beam on Ventation. Easy mode. Garbantis is not an issue. 
Stratosaur. Hmm. You do have Protagon with Thunderstrike. And if they're running like Stratosaur uh, Himber, then you always, always, always click Metal Blaster Dart Burst on Stratosaur. Because they're going to swap in their Himber, and then boom, bam, that thing's dead. Um, ooh, Dyborg. So if it's Secret Ability, um, you could run, you could use a lot of things against it, like Tyrex quad effective, and it doesn't mind getting bartered uh, shackles, because it's pretty slow anyways. Um, you could also use this if it's already been bartered shackles, you just don't want to get your Protagon, like any of your speedy ones, you don't want those to get bartered shackles. Um, against another Tyrex, you have Ventation. Um, against Munchwheel, you have Protagon and Zephalin with Mud Spatter and Infernix. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Yeah. Guard Drone. Yeah, Guard Drone. I mean, oh, it does get Frost Beam, so Slick Shell might not be the best move against it. So I think your best bet against that would be this. Yeah, Infernix is pretty darn good against Guard Drone. Uh, against Hunter, you have to be careful about Hunter, how you play against Hunter, because if you have a Ventation out, then you swap in Tyrex, and if you like, you have to like play with predictions and stuff. But like, tip, like if you you think they're gonna thunder strike, then you or thunder chomp, then Tyrex resists. If they're gonna blaze chomp, then you could go into this. I don't know. You could like you have ways. Like you res have resist for all those things. Like you have chili chomp resist, blaze chomp resist, uh, thunder chomp immunity, and mega chomp resist. So it's not that big of an issue. Um. Arapaigo. That has a lot of coverage. Hmm. Yeah, I think Protagon's probably your best bet. They won't they probably won't stay in against Protagon. Uh you could chunk that thing out pretty hard with the Zephalin, but you're just gonna get Thunderstrike. And if it's just like barely hanging on after a Thunderstrike, then you could Shadow Sprint, you know, whatever. Um, because it's not too bulky. Skellic, you have Protagon with Energy Surge. And Infernix with uh, Shrewd Blast should be fine. Joltooth, you of course have Energy Surge with Protagon, Shrewd Blast, and oh, you hardwall this thing with Tyrex, so easy. Um, Infernix. You can use Zephlin against it pretty darn well. You can also use Terra Claw, Slick Shell, if you wanted to, if you needed to. Um, yeah. Zephlin's pretty good against that. Hmm. Where, where was I? Oh, the Rogo. Quad weak to Protagon Energy Surge. Also weak to Ventation battering ram so you know easy Malmerk actually Malmerk let me think if it's melee Malmerk then Ventation easy mode um, if it's range Malmerk then Terra Claw but you also could just slap down with this thing and you're probably fine um Metatoad Oh, hard loses to Tyrex with Terrifying. Blotox also loses decently to Tyrex. You do have to be careful though, because those Aqua Jaws are going to lower you down pretty hard. Then you could just swap in Protagon if you needed to. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. Garlash. So you do have Protagon Thunderstrike. But you have to use it to revenge kill Vespera to Shadow Sprint. You can of course give it a minus one 
with Tyrex and then swap into Ventation or something, you know. Of course, Ventation walls out melee attackers until this thing gets Thunder Chomp. Uh oh. Deladrix. Hmm, against Deladrix, you could probably click Earthquake with this thing. Oh, and it loses to this pretty hard. Um. Colossotrops. Protagon. Ventation. Infernix. Vesperatu. Yeah, you have a lot to deal with Colossotrops. Um, Hoganosh. Like the fire types up here. Yeah, I forgot what I said about them. I, mean, I need to make this video quicker. Yeah, Hoganosh. Yeah, say whatever I said for Uptodon. Same deal. Mocho. You do have Protagon. It does get Boom Bash. So you could also use Infernix. It kinda does not like Infernix. So yeah, Mocho. You could use Infernix or Protagon, depending on the situation. All this depends on the situation. Spreezy or Odasho. Let's do Odasho first. Um, it's kind of Odasho and Spreezy, same deal. This thing, use this thing. Um, you can also chunk it out pretty hard with this Pyro. Um, yeah, that's about all you could do. Um, Whipple Drift. Hmm. Actually. You do have to be careful of Whipple Drift, actually. Vespra 2 Slap Down can deal with that. But it is pretty melee bulky. So I guess. I guess your best bet would be this. Thing, if it's already on the field, and then if this thing dies to it, then you go into this. Yeah, that's that's actually one of the weaknesses of this team. Whipple Drift, you don't have much for that besides Vesperatu. Alright, onto the Vars. Servolin, Vesperatu, uh, Tyrex, um, Partagon. You know, a lot of this team outspeeds that thing. Uh, yeah. Pyrex, yeah, your best bet is Pyrex or Protagon. Or Vesperatu. Okay, yeah, that thing's not an issue. Wendelin, Vesperatu. Um, also Protagon. Yeah. Also Infernix, but you gotta be careful because that thing outspeeds Infernix. Kirillin, you have to be careful of this thing. You have Protagon, and it does have moves to deal with both Protagon and Tyrex. But then again, you have Ventation. Easy. Um, yeah, and then if it's just low, then of course Vesper 2 Shadow Sprint. Uh, Zephalin. Zephalin loses to Protagon decently hard unless it predicts you with a Mud Spatter. Um, you can't use Infernix against it. Um, you can't really use Terra Claw against it. So your best bet would probably be either Tyrex or Protagon. You do, you probably have to be pretty careful of that thing. Um, Venelin, uh, you swap in Tyrex. Um, pretty easy there. You resist the adaptive assault. Is weak to the mud spatter, but that's not going to do too much damage to you. And if it barters you shackles, it's going to be okay. Um, Wrestlin, ooh. You have to play this pretty carefully. Actually, this team is really weak to wrestling. Um, I think the best you could do is Ventation. You could spam out Braces. Could you even, though? I guess Ventation, Geyser it, and pray that you burn it. And if you don't burn it, then you have to Revenge Kill with Protagon or Vesper. Or, yeah, Protagon. Oh, you can also, I always forget, you can also swap this thing on, in on Ace Wrestling. Like, it, I think it three hit KOs this thing. Sometimes, I can't remember. Um, who even uses this thing? This thing's trash. Um, Buzzlin, Bug type. You have, uh, Zephyl in easy mode. Um, Oxydrake. 
Yeah, you kind of just have Protagon plus Tyrax. You have to be careful of Tyrax though if it's secret ability. Um, you can also use Ventation against it. Yeah, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Duskit, uh, Dust Brought to Shadow Sprint. Ikazune. You would just use. Infernix. Yes. You can use Infernix, it does outspeed Ikazune. Well, the set I'm running outspeeds Ikazune. Um, you have to be careful of Energy Surge, but you should be fine. Because it's not Stab. Protagon. You have Tyrax, which walls out Protagon pretty darn well. And... Yeah. That's really all you have for Protagon is Tyrax. Be careful of that. Mutagon best brought to every single time. Uh, Cephalops... Terra Claw every single time. Metronet, Terra Claw every single time. Wobblisk, ooh. Against Wobblisk, you'd probably go with Icy Hot. Or Protagon. Yeah, these two are probably your best bet. Um, you have to be careful of Luster Loot, though. Nymure, Protagon. Um, Tyrex just destroys this thing as well. Um, this thing gets destroyed by Protagon and Tyrex. Um, and yeah, that's all the Lumians. Wait. I guess I missed the event ones, and yeah. But, Halloween Kabunga, that thing's trash. Festifer, that's what I'm missing. Where, where is, uh, I think this is Festifer here. Festifer's Ice Plant, uh, you have Infernix, and Ventation, shouldn't be that big of an issue, hmm, yeah, you're probably fine with just Infernix to deal with that thing, you have to be careful of Earthquake, but, I mean, there's also Vesperatu, pretty nice against it. Yeah, alright, so that's all the Lumians, so, this is a 32 minute long video, well, now, oh, I didn't rally any gleams, unfortunate. If you sat through that entire thing, uh, nice, I guess, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I make a team, I just like, build the team, and then I just go through it, and see what's good what it's good against, what it's bad against, and the next best, like, the best thing you can do, honestly, is just take it into PvP and see what you get destroyed by, and, yeah, that's probably what you're weak to, and then you could, like, you're like, oh, I never use uh, Vesperatu or something like that. Of course, Vesperatu is freaking amazing, so why would you ever take that out? But if you're like, oh, I never use it. And you could swap it in for something that would help you against what you're weak against. And then that'll introduce more weaknesses and more strengths. Yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to make the perfect team because something is going to be good against your team. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below if you even watched the entire video. And yeah, I'll probably do chapters so you don't have to sit through the entire decks. Like me just going through the Lumipedia, scrolling, seeing what this week to. But it also could be helpful for like my thought process. And tell me what this team's week to, what I missed. Because, I don't know, maybe I'll run this team in the next video. I guess, yeah. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I won't be streaming tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> no Viraka stream, I'm sorry. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!